welcome to Long's Toys. Sorry the last couple days haven't had any videos out. Work's been really hectic and my collection room where I usually do my reviews, that's where my setup is, my studio as it was, uh, is just kind of a mess right now. I've been doing a build of the Mega Bloks Technodrome, which I got a while ago for a really good price on Amazon. And I finally decided to start building it over Memorial Day weekend. And it was just a much larger task than I could ever possibly realize. <laughs> and so it's just kind of strewn about. And I have to work on my collection room anyway. It's, it gets cluttered very quickly. But So I'm kind of in my alternate setup right now. And I just haven't really had time to do reviews. And uh, I've actually been kind of running out of stuff. I have a lot of Soto and model kits, but they take time to put together. So can't bust those out as quickly as other reviews <laughs> that I would like to do. Um, but today I have an HLJ box, so this will be full of all kinds of good stuff. So hopefully once I can get the room cleaned up a little bit, uh, videos will start coming out a lot faster and more consistently. So that's where we are with that. Let's go ahead and open this up. Sorry, just watching me open this now. I also apologize, the lighting in here is not the best. So, it is what it is. It's very uh, dark and gloomy outside right now. Weather's been crazy the last couple days. So, let's go ahead and get this open. First thing, packaging, 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 packaging. So much packaging. All right, so the first thing we have in the box is, this is the little damage, a little bent, uh, reusable set 03. So I apologize for the glare there. Um, but very cool. Very excited to get more reuse souls. Um, they don't really explain how they get them on the show at all. But they've been fun to collect and fun to use in the sword and everything. So these should be fun. So that is the first thing out of the box. Next up we have Rider Kicks figure for Kamen Rider Geo Trinity. So that's very cool. I've been enjoying the Rider Kick figure line. I hope it continues past Geo because they've really only touched on Build and x -Aid. And I'd really like to see them get into Ghost and Drive and just keep going on down the line. Especially for things like before uh, Decade because I don't have a lot of figures from then. I'd love to see Kiva get some figures in the RKF line. Uh, speaking of Decade, here is the RKF of Decade. Now this comes with the Neo Deca driver. I think it actually comes with both. Yeah, it shows on the back that there is a little uh, piece you can pop off for the, the buckle. So he can have both drivers, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, next up, we'll just keep going with Rider Kicks figures here. We have Cross Charge. So there you go. Keeping them going. Um, along the same lines, but not quite the same. We have Ultra Action Figure for Belial. And I've been really enjoying these as well. Uh, really nice articulation and just overall nice representations of the figures that Ultraman really hasn't had in the past because they mostly stick to vinyl dolls and things like that. Uh, so very excited to pick that up. All right, so next up in the box here, we have some vinyls. We have Guy Zorg. Remember this guy? <laughs> I almost don't. I always like this form and the vinyl is pretty nicely painted. I'm really hoping, I don't think it's going to happen because I feel like it would have started happening by now. I really wanted them to translate the Rider Kicks figures like base to Sentai and start get that going because I would love a really nice articulated figure for this guy. But hopefully in the Udo line he'll show up eventually. But uh, I really like this form and I love the color scheme for him. The other Sentai vinyl that came out... Around the same time, we have Tiramigo. So he's very cool. I like this quite a bit. Let's see, head moves. Does the tail move? No tail movement. The legs have to move, right? Yeah, the legs move. So very cool. Very fun to have a fun little vinyl version. Vinyl version, say that five times fast, of Tiramigo. Uh, let's see, next up, next up, we have another ultra action figure for Victory. So that's very cool. Uh, next up we have some Soto. We have uh, Soto Ride 9 featuring 
Common Rider build, I believe, because this guy was from that movie, that red, I think he's a spider guy. He looks pretty cool, though. You also get um, the decayed form for the Mighty Brothers, but unfortunately you don't get enough bodies to display them both at the same time, so that's kind of a bummer. Or no, I think you get the two bodies, you don't get enough armor, that's what it is. But that should be easy enough to just get another set of armor because the bodies will be, well, I don't know, we'll see. It'll probably be hard to track them down. Got a little bit more packaging. We got another Soto set, Soto Ride 8. Again, featuring that other form from the build movie. We have, let's see, more packaging, more packaging. Oh, we got one more RKF figure. We got Genom. Level zero. So very excited to get this. I was kind of wondering why they hadn't repainted the X-Aid figure into Genom yet. And I'm guessing they were just waiting to make it level zero. So very cool. I would rather have level zero because I already have the regular version of Genom from the Level Up Rider series. So that's good. Looks like we have the DX Ginga Ride Watch. So that should be fun. Funny story, there should be two more um, Final Form Ride Watches for, I believe, Denno and Kabuto. And they came out the same weekend as Avengers Endgame, and I was otherwise occupied, and I completely forgot to buy them. So I just realized that, and so I bought them, but it was after I already shipped this box. So they'll be along whenever the next box of stuff comes our way. Looks like we have some uh, Ultra Vehicles. We have King Joe, Rosso, um, let's see, Galactron, and Orb. So that's pretty cool. It looks like King Joe and Galactron share the kind of kaiju mold that uh, Gomara and blanking on the other guy's name right now. And Red King, that was the other one. Oh, we have one more Rider Kick figure. This is Evil Black Hole. Very cool form, so very excited to get him. We have a candy toy set of Ryu Souls, so we'll go ahead and pop this open real quick. Now, unfortunately, I believe these are all spoken for already. Let's see, did we get... Uh, yes, we got... I like this. They're doing this with the candy toy Ryu Souls where you get four complete sets. There's three different ones. You get three of each. Sorry, three complete sets of four. So that's pretty cool. Liking that. But I believe Shuk and Kevin from the streets already have laid claim to these. So I'll be in touch with you gentlemen. Putting that off to the side. Here we go. We got this bad boy. DX Dime Volcano. I like to call him Dime Volcano. But it's technically Dime. But yeah, very cool. Very excited to get more. So much glare. It's just, it, it does not want to not reflect the glare, so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, very excited. More um, Kishi Ryu. I've been having fun with this toy line, so very excited to get that. And then this big boy, which I still don't even know why I'm still buying these, but this at least is a brand new mold this is the dxs 101 hayabusa mark ii from shinkalion he's got like a little bird companion and a cool samurai sword so i just thought it looked kind of neat and then he has the ability to combine with literally any of the others uh, on the back they show him combined with um whatever the red one's called because i can't remember its name E6, uh, Komas, Komash, Komas, yeah, I can't remember right now, um, no, Komachi, that's what it is, I forgot how to read Hiragana for a second there, E6, Komach, so, um, yeah, I, I think he looks neat, I really like the giant samurai sword, I think that's gonna be cool, so we'll review that at some point, I'll have to dig out my other Shinkalion toys, because I, I put them away, but I had them at hand, close at hand. Uh, next up we have two 
Gashapon sets for ride watches, so I will dive into these and see. Hopefully I got the ones that I should be getting. Or I should say the ones that I actually want. So let's see, this one is 15. Box has seen better days. All right, so let's try to remember what's in this one. All right, we got a purple one. I think this is Pututira. I believe, ooh, I got a metallic one. That's fun. I'm trying to remember what's in these sets. Uh, this is probably a metallic, this might be Kiva Emperor, maybe? So yeah, it's a metallic one though, so that's cool. And then we have this one, which I think is one of the dudes from Kiva. And then, oh, this might, hmm, is this the same one? Yeah, this might be the same one twice. So that's a bummer. I can't remember what these two were. I'll have to look it up later, but I think I got a little screwed up there as far as, well, let's say I can tell if the QR codes are the same, and they are. So that's a bummer. So I'm missing one from that wave. The metallic one was nice, though. I'll have to go on, like, Toe Collectibles or something and figure out what the other one is. And then this is... Oh, this one is Ryusouls. So it's only one set of... Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, it's harder to tell with these... I really can't. I can tell these are different. Mm, these two are the same. I think there were five different ones. And these look to be the same. So I know I have two so far. Alright, I got a fossil one. That's excellent. I was really hoping for a fossil one. That's green. So I think that's four out of five so far. I wouldn't mind a second fossil one. And that's that one again. Wow, so I got four of those? Are they all the same? I think they are. So I have to go back and look. I don't remember what's in these, so we'll go from there. But I at least got the fossil one. I think this one that I have multiples of might be the only new one that was in here. But I have to double check. Because I know HLJ just gives them to you at random. So, when I do my review of these, I will show you which ones I got. So that's it for that. So I might have gotten a little unfortunate pulls on all of those. We'll move this box out of the way. But yeah, that should be it. So yeah, that's it for the HLJ box. A lot of good stuff. A lot of Rider Kick figures. Uh, got some vinyl dolls. Got some Ultra Action figures. Got some Ultra Vehicles. Got a Shinkaleon. So I'll probably do Dime Volcano first because that's the one I'm most excited about. Uh, but yeah, all this stuff in time will get done. The Sotos will definitely be on the back burner because I still have Ride 3 through 9 now. So I got all that going on. I got a bunch of model kits. A lot of them are um, Gal Gygar because I just think those robots look really cool. So I bought a bunch of those, but I'll probably get to them very back burner. Um, I still think I would like to review them, but it's definitely going to be a little bit before I get to them. So yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, like I said, I've been building that Mega Bloks uh, Technodrums. Coming along really cool. Won't Probably won't review it because it's just too massive. And it's super old at this point. But they did just, they've, they've announced a while ago the Mega Bloks Castle Grayskull, which I'm super excited for. And I just happened to see a link on Google today that said 
Walmart has early access to it. Uh, so they are selling it now, whereas everyone else doesn't get it for like a month. So I jumped on there and I bought it. It says it'll be here Friday. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll wait and see. Uh, so that should be really fun. And I know that the fifth wave of the Mega Constructs Heroes is coming. That has Stratos and Skelligro. Skelligro. That's it. And Skelligro, I think, is from Harry Potter. Man. Anyway, uh, so that's really cool. I'm really enjoying those as well. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this. Uh, expect this stuff to uh, come shortly. Reviews should pick back up now that I have a steady stream of things. And then once this stuff gets gone through... I will go back to the Soto figures and the model kits and stuff and keep chipping away at that. That's like my goal that maybe by the end of the summer to be completely caught up on that stuff. But we'll see. I mean, I don't get summer vacation, so <laughs> um, I wish I did. I'm really jealous of all my buddies. Josh, by the way, congratulations on graduating. Corey, congratulations on graduating as well. I'm very jealous of the fact that you guys get summer vacation now. Work doesn't get summer vacation. I really wish that it did. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you're excited about all this stuff. And uh, yeah, check out my podcast, Geek Each Week. Uh, episodes should be coming out soon. Recording a new one later tonight. The Streets every Friday over at RR Infinity on YouTube. So definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, otherwise, thank you guys for enjoying the video. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Have a good one.